Is this the world's first mechanical test to finally end the debate about Earth curvature? We stretched a neutrally buoyant fishing line directly at the water surface of a calm lake. It should sag noticeably in the middle if Earth is a globe. And here's how it went. I had to build my own spinning wheel to twist a lighter polyethylene fishing line with a heavier nylon one to create a line which remains its exact position in the water. No line like this exists to my knowledge. It took several weeks to twist 2.68 kilometers which are 1.67 miles. So the water looks pretty level. I think it's less than some inches already in the evening, but in the early morning the water surface is completely still. The Grundlsee in particular has only few small streams of flux. That's why it's very suitable for this trial. Welcome to Styria. My helpers arrived and we weighed down the rope winch which I screwed on a board before. So starting the process. Long way to go. A motorized boat will be definitely better but we can do it, I hope. The tour with the inflatable pedal boat took almost one and a half hours surprisingly. Finally arrived on the other shore, the string got attached on a stone with a measuring scale. It got weighed down at the water surface with sandbags on both sides. Because the build-up and the tour took longer than expected, we could only do a quick check before boats were starting to drive. We achieved a light pull of about 5 to 6 kg. We drove to the middle part and I swam to the line. See, it's still water. It's above. It's above water. I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle. And I'm feeling. There is tension. We have tension. But it's completely straight. And the water is very, very level. Now there's strength. A little more, 815. It's just me making this wave now, but look at this clear crystal flat lake. A lot more trials need to be done and I'm not saying my trial is definitive, especially the pull needs to be enhanced. A next test to control check, which I anyways planned, needs the line some inches below the water surface from the beginning. To get more pull, we can use a stronger line or rope at the rope winch to avoid stretch there. And we can even use two rope winches in, on both sides. But people who believe in the glow... <laughs> Such a flirt. One day. You stupid flirt. And in physics we trust. But only the real demonstrable repeatable one. Unfortunately, when trying to retrieve the line, I lost about half of it because something did run into it. That's why I need a twisted line again. We have an idea for a faster process by only spinning the lines and not the spools. Working with a car belt, I would need to build a casing for that. A much faster process would be if anyone knows a company who is able to twist two lines with their existing machines. They braid their lines as well, so it should be possible to achieve that. But my exchange with fishing line producers failed. They said they can't twist two different materials. Or we find a line which is slightly heavier than water, but has less elongation than nylon. 
and then no twisting is needed. So help is very welcome and if you want to support this channel check ko-fi.com Kevin Samuel so that we will be able to do tests over even longer distances. Thank you very much everyone who supported and supports this project. Let's continue cause <laughs> I lost my glasses, goggles. Oh no, my goggles! <laughs> but the earth is flat.